It's the first time the West Bloomfield Police Department has lost an officer in the line of duty. And although Officer Rourke's patrol might have come to an end, the watch over his family by this department shall be eternal. It was the final radio call, one that we knew would not be answered. The patrol for 39-year-old Officer Patrick O'Rourke has come to an end. Indeed, the very best way to love is to put your life on the line. Patrick did this as every officer does it every day. The storm clouds parted as the officer's wife of 14 years arrived to the St. John the Evangelist Parish in Fenton Friday morning. Amy O'Rourke has defined grieving in grace since the love of her life was shot and killed Sunday night during a standoff in West Bloomfield. Just help my kids to know what you know about my husband. What he did in elementary school and what he did on lunch break and what he laughed about and his favorite donut flavor and how he took his coffee. All that stuff. Okay? She knew him as Patty, the gentle giant who helped raise four beautiful children. 10-year-old Eileen, 8-year-old Mary, 4-year-old Andrea, and the boy he always wanted, 8-month-old baby Stephen. Some of them are too young to remember watching their father's body draped honorably with an American flag. But in the years to come, they will have a new family watching over them, reminding them that their father's sacrifice was not in vain. Twenty-five hundred people, including officers from across the state, country, even Canada, paid respects. Some to a man they never knew. Everyone's grief journey is different, um, and their story is different. Um, I feel my heart breaks for her and her family. And although it was standing room only, there were moments when you could be certain it was just Amy and Patty. From Fenton, Smitha Kaloki, 7 Action News. The story has affected all of us this week, I think. Yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely a hero, but his wife, Amy, is a hero as well.